Hey everyone, uh, if you follow my blog at threeacreparadise.com, you'll see that I'm a big fan of earth boxes. The regular earth boxes, like you see in the background here, this green one, those work great. Haven't had any problems with them. Really haven't made any modifications other than, like in this one has a, uh, a little support for some peppers. And they have these root and vegetable boxes, which are deeper, basically for growing things like carrots or turnips or anything that might be a root vegetable that needs to go down. However, if you're looking at buying these, um, first of all, I just haven't had as good performance out of them, but they do have a design defect. So I wanna show you that right now. Okay, this is the um, little separator here. I'm gonna pull that out. So if you're not familiar with the earth box, it's a self-watering container. And what it is, is you put water in through a tube. It goes into the bottom reservoir. It will come out this hole here if you fill it too high. And then this sits in there, it basically holds the soil up off the water. And what you want is an air gap between the soil and the water. Now take a look at this. See how that's bent? And like, look at the, uh, this is, um, has these two spots where the potting mix dips into the water and that gives you your wicking action. And that's how the water gets up into the soil. So that's the two contact points you're supposed to have for the water and the potting mix. But um, yeah, you can see that's really warped. It's actually deformed these stands here. So what it is, is um, basically when that's setting in there, it's kind of hard to tell from a camera angle, but the weight of the soil has pushed that down and bent it to the point where I believe the soil is actually in the water at the corners because I can push that down and that's definitely below where the drain hole is. The drain hole is by my thumb here. That drain hole is, you know, it's, it's just right here at the edge of the height of this support when it's working correctly. So by that dipping down, you've got most of your soil sitting in water and you get anaerobic conditions. So you don't get that air circulation. It's just really bad for the plants. See that watering tube goes in there. So I think they did not support these enough. On a regular earth box, there's um, little pieces of plastic all around the edge that help support that. So I wanna show you that this is not just a one-off. I've taken three of these down today. You can see that's bent. You can see that, that whole support there is warped. There's a third one. Again, you see the deform what I'll call the, where the soil goes in, where it's supposed to touch the water. And the whole thing is just completely warped out from the weight of the soil. The good news is there is a way to fix that. So I didn't know how well that was gonna work until I took this apart. Now here's one, it's still a little off, not nearly as bad. So there's no real deforming here. There is a little bit in there, but there's a way to improve this. But here's the difference. Here's what I did. If you look under here, you see there's like four kind of flat areas. Well, I cut these pieces of pipe. This is a three inch PVC. It's cut at two and seven eighths inch high. And I put them in there. And then I had this setting in there. They're not quite lined up. Yeah. I guess they go more this way. There we go. They could probably even stand to be three inches tall, maybe an eighth of an inch higher. Um, but what I would do is I would put four of them. And that's what I'm going to do when I rebuild these boxes. I'm going to try to heat those, those separators up or just leave them in the sun so they flatten back out and just try to get them back in shape. And then in each box, I'll put four of these. Now, one other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut holes into these 
so that water can flow in and out a little easier. And we'll see what that does. So hopefully you found this informative. Thanks for watching.